Let me listen to your heartbeat. Oh, so strong, so alive. It will be mine. <laughs> you should not have come here. Now I will follow you until you give me what I need. Blood. <laughs> How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin and welcome back to another video. Well, before I get into anything, I just want to say I'm sorry for this video being a few days late. I've just been so busy lately and um over this the past 3 days like Thanksgiving and stuff, it's just been extremely it's been extremely hard to find time to make this video. So, finally I'm sitting down now to give my thoughts and opinions on this guy. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to get it out of the way. I'm really sorry for this video being so late. Hopefully, you guys don't get mad at me, but, um, yeah, it's just been really hard to find time to make it a video on this, so I'm finally happy to be getting to, um, talk about this guy. So, without further ado, I guess let's just break, start with my opinions and stuff. So, yeah, let's do it. So, this guy here is Lord Doc, Doc Havar, or so something like that. I really can't pronounce his name. Obviously, it's in the title, but I just really can't pronounce it. And if you're wondering why Spirit Halloween is releasing a prop in November, I'm really not sure. There's pictures of this guy leaked way back in August after stores were opened and stuff, so I was expecting him just to be released later on as an online-only prop. But um, surprisingly, he never got released. I'm pretty sure they updated his page on the website um, like another time a little bit after that, maybe in like October or September, sometime around there, they updated it again. And they changed to, they gave him a name and it said Lord Dampier or something like that. But finally, when they released it, they changed his name to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But um, I don't know how I really feel about the name. I think it's a cool name, even though it's very hard to pronounce it. I'm sure I'll eventually figure out how to pronounce it. But I guess we should get into talking about this guy and um, my opinions on him. Um, I'm sure Spirit Halloween just released this guy as like for the over the for the holidays, like um as to, like for to get for Christmas or basically just a holiday prop. Um, if you want to get this during the holidays, now it is an online only prop, and um, I'm just really unsure of why they didn't release it earlier or before Halloween. Um, this is just such a, an amazing prop. I really wish this guy got released in stores. It is such a shame to see such an amazing prop be released after Halloween. And ha be have it being online only. It's just such a real shame in my opinion. And this guy definitely should have been released in stores. Now, anyways, I just want to get into my opinions on this guy. So let's get to it. Now, I want to get started um, on my opinions on this guy by his overall look. I just think he is just very, very cool. Um, There's a, so much detail put into his like body, torso, and basically where you could see his skin and stuff. But with his big wings, it really isn't too much detail, but I think the texture they put on it was nice, and there really wasn't any more detail they could have really added. But I really like it. I like the position he's in. I, like, I think this is such a cool vampire prop and seeing a vampire like another vampire animatronic after so long without seeing any i think this one definitely is one of the best if not the best in my opinion i just think this guy is incredible um i love how he's hanging i love how he's like a half human half bat vampire instead of just being either a vampire that's like human and then they can transform into bat he's more of half and half which i think is really cool i love how his wings are um like, he's hanging upside down like a vampire, and he has his wings covering him. I just think it looks so cool. I love the face on this guy. Um, I love the detail. I love the mouth animation. I, I think his animation is really good. I like how they didn't give him the wiggling animation of some of the other YJ upside-down hanging props. Um, for example, Cocooned Corpse, um, Bloody Bag of Jokes, and... Um, there's uh, one or two other. Oh, yeah, Zombie Bait, and I'm pretty sure there's one more. Or maybe just this guy's the other one, but I can't really remember right now. But I think this is my favorite out of all of them, out of all the hanging upside down hanging YJ props. Um, I just think he looks incredible. I love that he's a vampire. I mean, even if this guy was like, I mean, even if we continuously got vampires and they weren't overdone like clowns, but if we got more vampires, I think I still would have really liked this guy. It's not just because he's a monster that we don't, that we hardly ever get. I mean, that is obviously a big reason why a lot of people like it, but I just think the design of this guy is so cool. Um, now, 
I do have a um a few problems with it. I mean, I get why it's hanging upside down. I think that's really cool, but I mean, I I mean, I would I want to buy this guy because there's really no place I could put him since he's a hanging prop. But I think still it being hanging really makes the prop better than if it were like standing because it just makes it so much more original that way. Um, again, I'm really happy they didn't put the wiggling animation because it would have looked kind of stupid because he's not supposed to be wiggling and shaking. He's just supposed to be hanging there. Um, now, I think my favorite part of this guy, out of everything, has to be the piercing um, and fading in and out LED eyes. I mean, there's just something about them that is so cool on this guy and really adds to the character. I've heard some people say they don't really like it on him, but I really feel like that finishes off his look. Um, I'm sure if they put something else, I still would have loved it just as much, but there's just something about the eyes on this guy that really makes me like him um, a little bit more than if he didn't have them. But again, just such an amazing prop. I really wish this was released in stores. It would have gone perfect in the Jack's Cave theme. And yeah, sorry if this video was a little bit long, everyone. Uh, I think I'm done talking about everything now. Oh yeah, one more thing. The price, it being $180, I think is pretty fair for Spirit knowing them. I I was assuming this guy was going to be priced at probably 200 but I think, I think it's a pretty reasonable price for what Spirit normally prices things at. I mean, it really isn't that big, and... Um, I think the only people, I think really the only reason people like absolutely love this guy is because it's, it's, we never see vampires. I really think that's the big reason people are going crazy over this prop. But as I said, again, I think even if we did get tons of vampire props, this one still would have been one of my favorites because I just love the uniqueness and the cleverness of the design. So I think that's going to be it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been quite a while since I made my last video. I've just been taking a break for a while since I've um, uploaded so many videos over the past Halloween season. Make sure you go check those out. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, like, and as always, this is the Pixlay Pumpkin, signing out.